I'm recording this a day later than when it happened because the wind was just too much. But um, we were brought to this place called Palanka, which is on the Moldovan border to, with Ukraine. It's surrounded on three sides by Ukraine. And the camp that we were brought to is really interesting. It's isolate. It seems isolated on the in this kind of rough terrain, but. It's amazing the work that's going on there. There's uh, different charities, different support groups, uh, NGOs and religious kind of groups are all here together working to um, look after refugees who've literally come right over the border uh, into Moldova, escaping the war. And a lot of these people are coming from places like Mikolaev and uh, Odessa. And so it's a massive journey for them and to have support for them on the border with people they can trust, I'm sure is makes a huge difference for them. And from here, buses and coaches um, set off uh, every day. At the beginning, they were saying there was more than 30 buses a day filled going into places like Bucharest and further afield in Europe. So it's really an amazing effort that people are doing. These people have been forced from their homes uh, against their will and they're exactly like us. You speak to them, you see them and they're just like me and you. And um, these are people who the last thing they thought was going to happen to them was that they're going to be refugees. They just expected this to be another normal march. Um, but yeah, this is... Um, it's a lot to take in.